Amy, owner and curator of Yo So Boho. It's Tuesday night. Thanks for joining me. Um, if you're new to the channel, welcome. This is the Yo So Boho Rescued Treasures channel, and we are all about rescuing treasures and thrift shopping. And today we are actually going to the Goodwill bins. If you don't know what the Goodwill bins are, they are the outlet of the Goodwill. Kind of everything filters down to them. And we will go and dig through them and see if we can find any treasures. This week, we're actually starting at the bins. And then we're going to go over to the retail side. Because in this Akron store, there are two sides. One is a outlet side and one is a retail side. So my Aunt Beth and I went and did a little shopping at both. So today you'll see the bins and Thursday you'll see the retail side. Before I get there, I wanna do a couple of things. One, I wanna thank my friend, Penny Sue. Penny, I got your envelope. You're very sweet. I know you called me sweet, <laughs> but you're very sweet. I love the stickers in here. Y'all know I love stickers. And she sent me some beautiful ones, including these, look at these sweet little owls in all different colors. I love them. And then the funny thing is she sent me a big chocolate bar and it's, and she has it in this bubble wrap. It says must protect the chocolate. <laughs> but what's awesome is I peeked in here. It's a Heath bar, which happens to be Earth's favorite chocolate bar. So I don't know if she had some insight there. I don't think I've ever mentioned that, but oh my gosh, when Irv saw me open this, he was like, <laughs> so I will definitely be sharing, but thank you for the sweet note, Penny, and for the little goodies. Penny Sue, if you um, read any of my comments, she's always telling stories and I just love her posts. So thank you so much. That was unexpected and super sweet. And then the other thing I'm going to talk about is if you follow me on Instagram, and if you don't, super easy, just look for Yoso Boho on Instagram. Um, I'll also link that below. I showed off some t-shirts that I have had in my closet or in a back drawer um, for a very long time. I did know that some of these had some value and I looked them up a few years back and it was fun to see my friend Richard um, from the Vintage Art Guy channel, check him out. He showed off in a video probably a year ago or six months ago, some t-shirts that he has. And he reminded me, ooh, I better get out that pile of t-shirts and take a look at them and see what they're worth. So if you have any old concert t-shirts or band t-shirts, I suggest you take a look at them because they are soaring in value. I couldn't believe how much this was worth when I looked it up. And it was funny because Richard said, you know, if you have a Nirvana in utero or early Nirvana shirt, then you are like, holy moly guys. During the in utero tour, they were at Akron University. You can look this up. You can actually listen to the concert if you are a Nirvana fan, but they were at Akron University Halloween of 1993. You could check it out. It was a crazy, it was like one of the best nights of my life, honestly. <laughs> um, I was such a huge fan, such a huge fan. And so it was such an amazing experience, but this was my concert t-shirt from 1993. And this is the t-shirt and this t-shirt is worth over a thousand dollars. Over a thousand dollars. Can you believe that? It is in such great condition and it is this large size. So I'm thinking I'm at the high end. Um, that's crazy. Now the struggle is, <laughs> do I sell it? Do I sell it? Ah, oh my gosh. I don't know y'all. What do you think? Leave a comment below. I mean, part of me thinks this is like my my youth, right? My, but the memories are still there. I'm, I'm never gonna forget the concert. Um, I don't wear the t-shirt. Like if somebody's gonna enjoy it, yeah, it's a struggle. <laughs> Tell me what you think. Okay, let's get to the shopping. Y'all, I spent $6.78 on this trip. I think that may be the lowest I've ever spent going to the bins and you will not believe the quantity of things that I got and the quality of things that I got. Holy moly. 
Um, you're not going to believe it. But I want to remind anybody who doesn't know how our bins work. Our bins are, everything is weighed by the pound, except for books. Books are 50 cents per book, but everything else is by weight. So anything in the like clothes, electronics, home decor, all of that stuff is $1.19 a pound. And that is if you are under 30 pounds. If you buy 30 pounds plus, it goes down to 99 cents a pound. And then everything that's in the kitchen um, category, like anything that's glass or ceramic plates, glasses, that kind of stuff, all gets weighed at 49 cents a pound. So that is where I made out on this day because a lot of my things that were heavy were ceramic. They all just cost me 49 cents a pound. So holy moly, wait until you see what this little receipt got me on this day. And stick around to the end, guys, because we are going to draw for the 2,000 subscriber prize, which is this gorgeous piece of cloisonne. Everybody who entered from last week, Tuesday or Thursday, I have all your names in the computer and we are going to spin a wheel and pick a winner. So stick around, it will be at the end of this video. But without further ado, let's go shopping. We're starting with the holiday. And I picked up a big Fultz graph. When I'm sourcing in the bins, I tend to look for things that are holiday, seasonal, um, things that I can take over to one of my two booths at the Shops by the Lake. If you don't know about that, Painesville, Ohio, if you're in the area, me and my Aunt Beth have two booths, booths number 54 and 108. So stop in there and check them out. Getting back to what I was saying, if I'm at a place like the bins or even at the Goodwill, I'm always looking for seasonal stuff to put into our booth at that time of year. And this piece was super cool. It is a large cookie jar, goodies jar. It says goodies on it, Christmas goodies. And it is made by Faultscraft. It is in beautiful condition, no little chippies. It's in a cool 90s uh, color vibe. And yes, in this condition for 49 cents a pound, that is a a good deal all day long. I'm going to say probably about $20 in the booth come Christmas time. Is that one of those like foil? Oh, I don't no. know. Or is it painted on the glass? Reverse painted? Um, it might be. I might pick that up. If I was you, I might pick that up. I didn't pick it up. I glanced over and saw this painting as we were discussing her piece. I have found and I have hung so many pieces in my home. I'm looking up here because there's an illustration right in front of me um, from the bins. So again, this is by weight. This is just a canvas on frame. It probably weighs less than a pound, which means I paid like a dollar for this painting. This is a mid-century painting. It is by a Haitian artist. His name is Fritz Luizier. This is all done with like a knife. Um, if you, I'm going to zoom in here so you can see, but if you look, you can see like scrapes. So this is done with what's called a palette knife. Literally, they just like spread on the paint with a knife and then they put all those little details in with the blade of the knife. Um, it's incredible. And this is a really nice piece. Love the colors in it. Let me zoom in here so you can see the style. See how it's like chunked on? It's like spread with a knife and then he went back in and like scraped on some of these details. The little ropes going down the masts. Look at the people in their bright hats. It's just awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's awesome for a dollar that you can walk in and find a mid-century oil painting in a Goodwill bins is beyond me. It's beyond me. I'm going to be looking for a frame for this. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to hang on to this one or not. I do have quite a few nautical type of paintings in my house, so it definitely would fit. Um, yeah up for uh debate <laughs> is what i'm gonna say but it is in great shape you can see here the age
just wonderful. A few of you in my last bins video said, hey, spend more time in the book bins. So I tried to keep my camera on the book bins longer this time. This was my first little find. Oh my gosh. Oh, good morning, whales. Good morning, whale tails. Oh, look. I see. Oh my gosh. This is a book called Goodnight Maine. Um, my family, my extended family has a cottage in Maine and I grew up going there every year. And so this was just really special. I'm building a library of child's books for my nephew's baby, which will be here in April. Eek! So this was like, oh my gosh, it's good night, Maine. Maine is definitely one of our favorite places on the planet. It's just a dreamy place. So I'm super excited to add this to my little collection. So let's dive back in here and see what's here. These book bins were quite full today. We did spend a lot of time in them. And there were a lot of these kind of student books that I made a big pile of them and I actually looked them up, unfortunately. <laughs> I only found one that was worth any money and it's in here. Here's some that I picked out. This is the one, let me show you this one. So you saw a couple of books that I added to the cart there and please note that I add a lot of things to the cart, but as soon as I have a chance, I go through those things and if I don't want them or I decide against them, I try and get them back in the bin as quickly as I can so somebody else has a chance to get them. So here are the ones that I kept from that little scene that you just saw. This one, of course, is going into the baby book collection. It is a really popular one that says, guess how much I love you. And if you don't know, I love you this much. <laughs> he also says, I love you to the moon and back. And we all know that that's a very popular saying. To the moon and back. Love this. And that book that I pointed to is a learning to see value stream mapping. As I was going through the bins, I was pulling out things and stacking them so that I can scan them. Um, my friend John from the Small Town Small Time Bookseller. Um, he used to have, I think, just reseller, but he changed it recently. And if you aren't subscribed to his channel, please go check him out. He's so fun to watch. Super smart, very funny. But this was one out of a stack of probably 10 that I scanned that actually has some value. And I will show you that here. Any of the ones that I pull out here and kind of check out the cover, if I don't share a comp with you on screen or a value, it's probably because it's only worth a few dollars, maybe under $4. And a lot of these, when I look up, they're like three or $4 with free shipping included. So just not worth it. You'll notice I'm kind of taking them off screen because I am setting them in my cart to take a look and to scan, as I said before. Just didn't find much in the way of value. Oh, I liked this one. I just thought it was neat because it had gold rimmed pages and it was fancy. And this one maybe I could have taken over to the shop. It did have a little bit of value. $10, I probably could have sold it for $10 at the shop, so maybe I should have grabbed that one, but I did not. I'm showing the day book, Comfort and Joy was worth just a few dollars. And I did grab this one, I won't show it to you, but this is a Gary Vaynerchuk book. Um, he, I don't know which one this is, I think it's like the sixth of his books, but I follow him on social media goes back to my marketing days made by Jeff my aunt's mm -hmm. <laughs> showing me a peanut butter book and I'm like what yum and I don't know how I lost that one but she lost a soup book and I lost that Jeff peanut butter book one things to do with a cake mix that sounds amazing too 101 things to do with ramen noodles what what Oh gosh, Marley and me. This book made me cry so hard. I couldn't even watch the movie. I wouldn't even go to see the movie. No, I know. Jennifer Aniston was in it. And I was like, I want to go see that. And then I read the book and I was like, no. no. Habitudes. 
You did? What kind of soup did you make? Hamburger vegetable. But I put too much pasta in it. So it absorbed all the liquid. Oh, here's more. So it's more of a casserole. What else did we find? Here's 101 things to do with ramen. I was hoping to see a couple more of these, but they are in these very cute, you know, kind of retro style graphics. They are 101 things to do with cake mix, 101 things to do with ramen noodles, and 101 things to do with a slow cooker. I am going to bundle these, probably tie a little bow around them and put them in the shop. They cost originally $10 a piece, and I figure they cost me $1.50, because I paid 50 cents for each of them. So, you know, if I can get maybe 12 bucks for the bundle, that'll be cool. Little pine needle basket. Let's look down and saw these in here. Maybe they have missing parts. Look at this little pine needle basket. Ooh, yeah. And then this little lid goes on something. Oh, that's not the box, it's just the lid. Yeah. I'm gonna hold on to them. Keep an eye out for pine needle baskets. Some of them can be worth big money. This is not, this is just a really old one and I loved it. When I picked it up, I absolutely loved the work in that. That's all man-made. It's all like hand woven. Um, and I just think it would be cute for like a catch-all um you know on a side table drop your keys in there or you know for many other uses i just had to grab it it probably cost me 10 cents maybe these are pretty empty today some days the breakable bins are just packed full of glass but not today oh, that's a restaurant more piece i wonder if all that smidge will come off there's two of them in there to see about if those will come clean. They are made by Shenango, China. And yes, they clean up. <laughs> they are really gross and they need a good soaking and a good cleaning, but they will. Um, my aunt always carries around like little wipes. And so we can always see if something's going to clean up. And obviously this one is. So happy to have these. Um, probably going to sell them on eBay. I will share here what I can expect for them. These were in that 49 cents a pound category. So two of them, probably 49 cents for both of them, like a quarter a piece. That's my guess. No one's pretty too, but it's very light. And that's plastic. <laughs> Looking at this spongeware piece that I didn't like, I completely missed that little stack of Corel Shadow Iris dinner plates. Those probably had a good resale value. I'm not even sure how many were there, but I should have looked. Normally these are pretty full, so I would have an excuse, but today they were really empty, and so I really don't have an excuse. I really should have looked at them. Cute little bell. Here's a candle. Bunch of clear glass in this box. Love the pattern of that plate. I don't know if there was some chipping around it. There was a reason though I didn't look in there. Rounding the corner. I thought this might be a, not this piece here, but this piece down here in the corner, I thought may have been a Fitz and Floyd piece. It was a Christmas tree shaped box, but it was not. 
and I knew once I lifted it up it was really lightweight and uh, it's kind of like a bisque lots of little jars in there and then I'm about here where my aunt starts laughing and I have to see what she's got what are you oh my gosh what is it what is it <laughs> and it's got a red and it's bulb got in it. The red bulb too. Wow! Somebody made something broken. magical. Probably a palm tree. Oh my gosh! Talk about oh my gosh! Look at this Capa de Monte. It's got a big broken leaf there. Yeah, should be on this leaf. Yeah, but otherwise. Oh, it's got a swan head. Yeah, it's a swan. Dang. This is what makes me so sad. It's like these pieces. Somebody had that in their house a very long time because it's covered in dust. After seeing that crazy shell art <laughs> and then the Capa de Monte, I had to step back because I had seen these blue plates and I knew what they were. These are made by Royal Copenhagen and they are Christmas dated plates. They made these for a very long time and some of these can be worth money. So I definitely went back to see what the dates were and I put them all in my cart so that I could look them up. I'm glad I did. I have told you in the past to take a second to look these up because you never know what they're gonna be worth. Some of them that are more modern are actually worth quite a bit, and some of them that are older are worth quite a bit. The rest of them, meh. <laughs> um, maybe eight to $10 a piece, unless you have a bundle or a lot of them. And in this case, first I found 1980 to 1986. So I'll be selling this lot together. This is 1980, 81, 82, 83, I'm missing 84 and then 85 and 86. And then there were ones here from the 60s. So I have a 1965. Of course, I'm sharing values. A 1963. A 1964. And then this one, 1958. And this one pays for everything, <laughs> all of it and more. So check them out and definitely, they may take a while to sell, but these will all go onto eBay and I'm sure that they will sell. I will wait my time, but some of them are just a little bit more rare and I'll get a little bit more money for them. I love the messages on these. They are rescue mugs. 
Love is a four-legged word. I'm sorry, Leaner. I have a three-legged cat, so. <laughs> love is also a three-legged and a two-legged word. Um, but there were two of each kind of these. I got them all, all eight of them, because I paid probably 10 or 15 cents a piece for them. These are in that 49 cents a pound per pound. So yeah, I grabbed them all. I'll probably put like one of each, so four of them in at a time, hang them on a mug tree. Somebody's gonna see that they're rescue mugs and they're gonna love them. They're still new with the little tags on the bottom. I'll say I'll probably sell them for three to five dollars a piece. And if I sell all eight for even four dollars a piece, that's amazing, that's 32 bucks. Let's get my bag. He's cool. Oh, look at this little ghosty. The little ghosties come in with me. <laughs> I don't have any little Halloween minis. So this is a cute little ceramic to find and he will be going in my miniature collection. Oh my word. I know I was. And then I got distracted. Ew, ew, ew. These are like threads and they've all been starched or something. They're all pr prickly. More corks. Dang, somebody ate your fingers. You poor thing. Oh my goodness, what is that? There's something with spoons. What is this? Somebody created a base for something. I wonder what was on there. Pretty clever. Anything down in there? What are you? I see a face down here. Eternals, marble. A marble. Ooh, do we have any some kitschy Christmas? What is this? been around that long I created a vintage tacky Christmas assemblage for this past Christmas um, I'll link that up here if you want to go back and take a look at that video I've been collecting now some tacky Christmas stuff as well as some tacky spring stuff um, because I think I'm gonna make a few more I absolutely loved making mine and I think that I could sell mine definitely. I, I heard that a lot from my feedback that there were a lot of people interested in it. So I think that I'll probably be making some more. So now when I go to the bins, I go with the mission of finding really nice tacky Christmas. And this is like the tackiest. <laughs> These pine cones are wonderful. They are plastic, rubbery, and cool. And then who would put strawberries in a Christmas ring? so funny and the strawberries and these tiny little oranges anyway i threw that in the cart i also found i don't think this was on camera but this cute little candle it's an ornament but i think this would be great in an assemblage so i grabbed that as well we can't end it here without peeking in my aunt's cart now i will leave her information below if you want to take a look and see her ebay store or you can reach out to her um, through email. But that was a cute little kid set. And these I absolutely love. They were ornaments, wooden ornaments that were like little card characters. So adorable. And that, my friends, was our bins adventure. That was all of the digging and the sourcing and 
I think we found some pretty amazing things. How about that painting? I tell ya. One thing that I forgot to share at the beginning of this video is my top today, my outfit of the day, is also brought to you by Goodwill. When I picked up the outfit that I was wearing last week, which was in honor of Ukraine, the blue and the yellow, I also found this little sheer number and I love it and I just wanted to point that out. Thrift your clothes, people. You don't need to go um, spend all that money on retail. I think I paid $3 for this and it's gonna make an amazing summer piece because it's so nice and light. And look at these bell <laughs> sleeves. How awesome are they? <laughs> all right, everybody, thank you so much. If you're still here, I love you the most. I super appreciate you hanging out with me. And we'll be back on Thursday again with this same Goodwill, but on the retail side. So don't miss that. If you are still around and you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Just click on that subscribe button and then select the uh, alarm and set it to all. So you'll know when I put up a new video, which happens at least two times a week. And then if you're clicking around down there, hit a like or a dislike, I would really appreciate that. And then leave me a comment down below. Um, tell me about those concert tees or something else that you know. And the best thing that you can do is share out the channel. Share out this video or another one or the channel with somebody that you know. Tell them to come over and subscribe to our little growing Yo So Boho tribe. Oh, I didn't forget. We are going to draw for this beautiful cloisonne vase for our 2000 subscriber prize. I have the wheel all set up here. I have 87 entries, 87. The wheel looks crazy. Wait until you see. So I'm going to take you off of this little thing here. I'm going to flip you around and we're going to watch and see who wins. Good luck, everybody. All right, everybody, here we go. There are 87. I told you the wheel looks so full and weird. Look at this great little saying up here. All right, let's do this. Good luck, everybody. Elizabeth McCullough. Yay! Elizabeth, you have won the 2000 subscriber prize. This beautiful vase. I will be sending it your way. Congratulations. Thank you, everybody. I will see you on Thursday. Until then, take care. <laughs>